A few weeks ago I bought a Cortelco 2500 telephone and uh, I was looking in the manual for it and I noticed that they also sell the 2554 telephones and I was really impressed with the with the 2500 set so I figured out to look into the 2554 telephone and I have to say this telephone is built just like the old ones um, not only that but it's made in America unfortunately with domestic parts but I mean foreign parts but it's made in America um, there's actually two different variants of this telephone there's one that's fairly cheap and there's ones that are $35 which is this one and I heard in the reviews that the cheap one is made in China and the more expensive one is made in America and I always say that I would be certainly willing to spend some extra dollars on a product that supported American jobs and so that's exactly what I did I bought the $35 one and it is in fact made in America this is the box that it came in actually it's a pretty cool box because uh, it just looks old-fashioned is my address on here? No, it's not. Okay. So, it opens up like this. The thing sits in the bottom. The handset sits in here. Um, it's just nice, no-frills packaging. It's sturdy. There's the information. So here's the telephone itself. I gotta record this carefully because the telephone numbers are, are right on the wall here next to it. Uh, but that's what it looks like. I'll take it off the wall for a minute. And uh, one of the interesting things about this telephone, at least I found it was interesting anyways, was that the back of it does not have the typical plastic thing that goes there. It's just a regular wire which um, I put into a, a two thing here connector and plugged into the wall. Um, but that was interesting. There's some more information down there. There's the best piece of information. I don't see um, I don't see a ren number on here, which is kind of strange. Some more information up there. I don't know what that means. Um, anyways, let me put this back on the wall here. Hopefully, I can get it back on the wall. Okay, so, um, yeah, so it does have the bell ringer, it's got the ringer uh, volume here, and what's nice about this is that you can actually turn it all the way off, that would be off, and this is like quiet, and then this is loud, um, the 2500 set, the, uh, the volume adjustment is really subpar. This kind of gives you a nice, almost infinite range of ring volumes. Um, let's take a look inside the handset and you'll see something really cool. This is actually the real deal, uh, like the old ones where it's got the removable microphone. Unfortunately, I believe this is one of those carbon microphones because it doesn't sound the greatest. But, um, you know, it's good enough, especially because everybody has calls from those dumb, whatever, smartphones now. The sound quality is kind of irrelevant, unfortunately. Um, here's the speaker. Simple undo two terminals, and it's good to go if you want to replace it. Screw this back on here. So it's really neat to see that it is built pretty much exactly like the old ones were. 
and it's easily repaired should any of the parts fail. Actually, does anybody know, tell me in the comments, can you buy uh, condenser microphones in this uh, format to put in here? I would be interested to know that. Um, so on the base we have the hook switch up here, we have the numbers, which they all work nicely. I don't want to call that person whoever that is. Um, Oh my goodness, is that calling somebody? I hope that wasn't leaving a message. Um, anyway, so we see at the bottom it's got the Cortelco name. Is it still calling somebody? What? Well, anyway, it's got the Cortelco name, the thing where you write the phone number. Hopefully that's gone now. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I think we're back to normal now. Okay, anyways, that was weird. Um, so yeah, there it is. Um, it's, the cord is really nice. I've had this on here for weeks and it's not at all stretched out yet. It's not knotting up or anything either, so that's pretty cool. It's a nice cord. Um, I think it's a 9 foot cord. I would have preferred a 12 foot for in here, so I'm going to get another one, but um, for now that's what it is. Um, Volume control in there. The uh, dial there. It's got a pretty good volume to it. Low is more than adequate for me. So, um, all right, let me call call this telephone here. I think there's some other telephones that are gonna ring, but you'll be able to hear it. So we'll start with it on loud. Move this closer. Okay. What happened? Is this still messed up? So it's got a pretty nice ringtone to it. I like it a lot. And the um, I thought I picked up before I went to the messaging. It didn't. The um, the range is really great because you can lower it, turn it off at night. Um, and this is crooked. Let's get that fixed. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna call it again. Actually, we'll call out this time. We'll call call this phone. And I'll put it on speaker, and I'll, I'll talk through it. Here we go. So actually, I'm going to take this telephone, and I'm going to put it in the other room here. Okay, we'll go in here, and lower this down. And I'll go in the other room, and I'll talk into that phone.
Okay, so that's going to be it for this one. That was the Cortelco 2554 telephone. And uh, well worth the money that you pay for it. It's got a nice vintage feel to it and it will probably last forever. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I think about $35. So thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.